unsportsman behavior is very callous and, and uncaring, and they're going to hurt somebody. So we don't want people like this on our streets. A brazen robbery Sunday night at a marijuana dispensary in Parkland. Two suspects walked in, one of them pistol whipping a clerk, demanding another get on their knees. All of this while pointing guns directly at their heads. Unfortunately, this is a common thing at pot shops now. So thanks for joining us for the News at 5. I'm David Rose. And I'm Jamie Tompkins. The local cannabis industry estimates there's at least one armed robbery at a pot store every day. So the question is, will some relief from state lawmakers help? Fox Thirteen's Matt Markovich is here to explain what's in the works. Matt, Jamie, that's what they're asking for, and not. Uh, uh, you may remember a couple years ago when there was a rash of pharmacy robberies. People were stealing narcotics, mainly painkillers. But uh, the legislature stepped in, made some uh, law changes, and then that, and then there was fewer uh, thefts at the pharmacies. Now the legislature may do the same for pot shops. They're not after the weed, but cash. There is a lot of cash. Um, we're talking, I, I don't want to advertise, we're talking a lot of cash that are in these businesses. Our total today is going to be $137.50. Because all sales at regulated marijuana shops are done in cash. Federal banking regulations prevent anyone dealing with marijuana, which is illegal in the Fed's eyes, from using credit cards. So armed robberies and cannabis tours are skyrocketing at alarming rates. <laughs> Pot shops say they've now reached a rate of more than one robbery a day in the state. Guys that are doing this stuff now obviously don't care that they're on camera. They don't care of the repercussions. Says the head of security for Uncle Ike's, who's armed. But not all pot shops have armed security. Bud tenders are getting shot. These guys are coming in with fingers on their triggers, on their guns. So I, I don't know what else it, it's going to take for us to get a little bit more protection. The cannabis industry is asking state legislators for help. Well, I remind you of Willie Sutton. Someone asked him, and he denies the answer, but they asked him why he robbed banks, and he said that's where the money is. Republican State Senator Jim Honeyford is co-sponsoring a bill to increase prison penalties for robbing a pot shop, making it the same as robbing a pharmacy. It's harsher penalties than robbing a convenience store, but the cannabis industry wants more. We would ask that our state, our legislators, lead a coordinated effort to push on the federal government to once and for all give our businesses access to credit card processing. That means passage by the U.S. Senate of the Safe Banking Act. The U.S. House of Representatives has already done so, and it will allow customers at regulated cannabis stores to use credit cards. But it doesn't solve the entire problem, including others that our employees face and others as a result of not having the Safe Banking Act acted on. Police are asking for your help in finding these guys who robbed the pod zone in Parkland last Sunday. This kind of behavior is very callous and, and uncaring, and they're going to hurt somebody. So we don't want people like this on our streets. Now, the bill raising the penalties for robbing a cannabis store is sitting in the wings, ready to be voted on by the state Senate. If it passes, it will need the approval on the House side before it gets to the governor's desk for his possible signature. Guys.